What if your DNA held the key to a story thousands of years in the making? A story that stretches back to ancient migrations, lost civilizations, and forgotten trade routes? For millions of Filipinos, this isn't just a question, it's a genetic reality. The Philippines is home to over 7,000 islands, each with its own unique culture, language, and traditions. But beneath that diversity lies an even deeper mystery, where did the Filipino people come from? For centuries, historians and anthropologists tried to piece together the answer through archaeology and oral history. But now, genetics is providing a groundbreaking new perspective, and what scientists have discovered is more surprising than anyone imagined. By studying ancient DNA, researchers have traced the genetic origins of Filipinos across thousands of years and vast stretches of the globe. They've uncovered evidence of prehistoric migrations, connections to seafaring Austronesians, and even traces of ancient trade with powerful empires. Every strand of Filipino DNA carries a piece of this complex puzzle, holding secrets that reshape what we thought we knew about the country's past. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through time, from the earliest human settlers to the waves of migration that shaped the modern Filipino identity. We'll explore the genetic legacy of the Austronesians, the impact of centuries of trade, and the lasting mark of colonization. So, buckle up, because this is the untold story of the Filipino people, written not in books, but in blood. The story of the Filipino people begins tens of thousands of years ago, with the first humans to set foot on the islands. Genetic research shows that the earliest settlers arrived in the Philippines around 50,000 years ago, long before recorded history. These early humans were part of the first wave of migrations out of Africa, traveling across ancient land bridges and coastal routes to Southeast Asia. These original inhabitants, known as the Negritos, were small, dark-skinned hunter-gatherers who adapted to life in the island's tropical landscapes. Today, their genetic legacy still exists in indigenous groups like the Ida, Agta, and Batak, who carry some of the most ancient human DNA in the region. But the Negritos weren't the only people to shape the Filipino genetic identity. Around 4,000 years ago, a new wave of migrants arrived, the Austronesians. These skilled seafarers originated from Taiwan and spread across the Pacific and Indian Oceans, settling in places like the Philippines, Indonesia, and Polynesia. They brought with them advanced knowledge of farming, pottery, and boat building, which helped establish more complex, organized communities. Genetic studies revealed that modern Filipinos are primarily a mix of Negrito and Austronesian ancestry, with the latter being the dominant component. But what's truly fascinating is how this genetic blending happened. Instead of one group replacing the other, the Negritos and Austronesians intermarried over generations, creating a rich and unique genetic tapestry. This ancient mixing of populations laid the foundation for Filipino identity. It's why people from different islands can have distinct physical features and yet share deep genetic connections. And it's just the beginning of the Philippines' genetic story, because as history marched on, more migrations and cultural exchanges would continue to shape the people of the archipelago. The genetic history of the Philippines is like a vast ocean, shaped by countless waves of migration. After the arrival of the Negritos and Austronesians, the islands became a crossroads of cultures, with new settlers arriving from across Asia and beyond. Each wave of migration added another layer to the Filipino genetic landscape, creating a complex blend of ancestries that reflects centuries of movement and exchange. One of the most significant genetic contributions came from mainland Southeast Asia. Groups from what are now Vietnam, Thailand, and Malaysia traveled to the Philippines, bringing new cultural practices, languages, and genetic markers. These migrations enriched the existing Austronesian gene pool, especially in regions like Luzon and the Visayas, where genetic diversity is particularly high. Chinese traders and settlers also played a major role in shaping Filipino DNA. For over a thousand years, merchants from southern China traveled to the islands for trade, and many eventually settled, marrying into local communities. Today, Genetic studies show that a significant portion of Filipinos, especially in urban centers, carry Chinese ancestry, a reflection of centuries of cultural and genetic exchange. But the connections don't stop there. 
DNA evidence reveals traces of South Asian, Middle Eastern, and even European ancestry in modern Filipinos. These genetic links are remnants of ancient trade routes, the spread of Islam, and the Spanish colonization of the islands. Each new arrival brought not just goods and ideas, but also their genes, further enriching the Filipino genetic story. What's truly remarkable is how seamlessly these diverse genetic influences blended over time. The people of the Philippines didn't just absorb foreign genes, they adapted, evolved, and created something entirely their own. This fusion of ancestries is what makes the Filipino genetic identity so unique, reflecting the island's long history as a melting pot of human migration. And as scientists continue to study ancient DNA, we're learning more about the deep, interconnected roots of the Filipino people, roots that stretch across continents and span thousands of years of human history. The story of the Philippines took a dramatic turn in the 16th century with the arrival of Spanish colonizers. For over 300 years, the islands were part of the Spanish Empire, and this period left a lasting mark not just on Filipino culture and religion, but also on genetics. The Spanish influence is a crucial chapter in the genetic origins of modern Filipinos, adding another complex layer to an already diverse population. Genetic studies show that many Filipinos carry European DNA, primarily from Spain and Portugal. This genetic contribution, while relatively small compared to Southeast Asian and Austronesian ancestry, is still significant, especially in certain regions. Cities like Manila, where Spanish settlers concentrated, show higher levels of European genetic markers. This ancestry came through generations of intermarriage between Spanish colonizers, soldiers, and locals, leading to a blend of European and Filipino traits. But the Spanish era didn't just bring European genes. The Philippines became a vital part of the global trade network through the manila acapulco Galleon trade. This connected the islands not only to Spain, but also to Mexico and other parts of Latin America. As a result, genetic traces of indigenous Mexicans and other Latin American groups can be found in some Filipino populations, a living testament to the global reach of colonialism. Colonization also impacted genetic diversity through social structures. The Spanish introduced a caste-like system, influencing patterns of marriage and family life. In some cases, this reinforced existing social divisions, while in others, it created new genetic pathways as people from vastly different backgrounds came together. Despite the colonial impact, Filipinos didn't lose their indigenous roots. Instead, they adapted and integrated these foreign influences, preserving their core Austronesian identity while embracing new genetic and cultural elements. This resilience is reflected in the genetic makeup of modern Filipinos, a living record of conquest, trade, adaptation, and survival. The colonization chapter shows how external forces shape the Filipino genetic story, but it's only one piece of a much larger puzzle. So, where does all this leave the Filipino identity today? While the ancient Austronesians and later Spanish colonizers shaped much of the Filipino genetic landscape, another critical piece of the puzzle comes from centuries of trade and migration with neighboring regions, especially China and South Asia. These interactions added even more complexity to the genetic makeup of the Filipino people, leaving behind distinct traces that are still present today. For over a thousand years, the Philippines was a hub of maritime trade. Chinese merchants, particularly from southern China, began settling in the islands long before Spanish colonization. Many of these traders married into local communities, passing down their genetic lineage. Today, genetic studies show a significant amount of southern Chinese ancestry in many Filipinos, especially in urban centers like Manila and Cebu. This influence is also visible in Filipino culture, from cuisine to language and even family names. But the Chinese weren't the only external influence. South Asian merchants and seafarers also traveled through Southeast Asia, establishing trade links with the Philippines as early as the 9th century. Genetic research reveals traces of Indian ancestry in some Filipino populations, particularly in the southern regions and Mindanao. This is backed by historical records showing that Indianized kingdoms, like the Rajanates of Cebu and Butuan, existed long before Spanish contact. 
These migrations didn't just bring new genes, they brought ideas, technologies, and traditions. Indian influences helped shape aspects of pre-colonial Filipino spirituality, while Chinese culture influenced trade practices, architecture, and even the organization of local economies. The blending of these cultures created a uniquely Filipino identity, where foreign elements were absorbed and reinterpreted through a local lens. The genetic evidence tells a story of openness and exchange. Rather than being isolated, the Philippines was deeply connected to a vast network of cultures and people. And far from erasing indigenous identity, these migrations enriched the Filipino genome, making it one of the most diverse in the world. This constant flow of people, ideas, and genes shows that Filipino identity has always been dynamic, not something fixed, but something that grows and evolves with each new chapter of history. And as science advances, we may discover even more surprising connections in the genetic roots of the Filipino people. When Spanish colonizers arrived in the Philippines in 1521, they didn't just bring religion and new political systems. They also left an undeniable genetic imprint that would shape the Filipino people for centuries. The Spanish colonization of the Philippines, lasting more than 300 years, added another layer to the nation's already diverse genetic landscape. But the extent of this influence might surprise you. Genetic studies show that while Spanish ancestry is present in many Filipinos, it's not as widespread as some might think. The genetic contribution of the Spanish is most pronounced in certain regions, particularly in Luzon and the Visayas, where colonial influence was strongest. Interestingly, what many consider Spanish DNA often turns out to be a mix of Iberian and other European ancestries, as Spain itself was a genetic melting pot of Moors, Celts, and Romans. Spanish colonization also brought in people from Latin America, especially Mexico. The Philippines was governed as part of the Spanish Viceroyalty of New Spain, and ships from Acapulco carried not just goods, but people. Mexican and Peruvian soldiers, settlers, and sailors mixed with local populations, contributing additional layers of genetic diversity. This connection explains why some Filipinos share genetic markers with indigenous Latin American groups. Beyond DNA, the Spanish era transformed Filipino culture. Catholicism became deeply rooted, Hispanic surnames became widespread, though many were assigned through colonial decree rather than direct ancestry, and the Spanish language influenced Filipino dialects. These cultural elements blended with indigenous traditions to create the distinct, hybridized Filipino identity we know today. The genetic evidence reminds us that colonization, while painful and disruptive, also facilitated human connections that continue to shape people's lives generations later. Filipinos today carry echoes of these encounters in their DNA, a reminder of both the struggles and the resilience of their ancestors. What emerges from this chapter of history is a testament to the strength of the Filipino spirit. Despite centuries of colonization, the people of the Philippines didn't lose their identity. Instead, they absorbed the influences around them and forged something new, creating a living, breathing example of how human migration and cultural exchange can build vibrant, lasting legacies. The genetic history of the Philippines is a living tapestry, a blend of ancient migrations, trade-driven connections, and centuries of cultural exchange. But what does all this mean for Filipino identity today? As science uncovers more about the DNA of the Filipino people, one thing becomes undeniably clear, the Philippines' diversity is its greatest strength. Genetic studies have revealed just how interconnected Filipinos are with the wider world, carrying markers from East Asia, Southeast Asia, South Asia, the Pacific Islands, the Middle East, and even Europe and Latin America. Yet, Despite this extraordinary mix, Filipinos have maintained a unique cultural identity that ties them to their land and history. It's a powerful reminder that identity isn't just about DNA, it's about shared experiences, traditions, and the stories people pass down through generations. What's even more fascinating is how modern genetic research is helping Filipinos reconnect with lost or forgotten aspects of their ancestry. For example, the discovery of Denisovan DNA in indigenous groups highlights the deep prehistoric roots of the archipelago, while the genetic links to Taiwan and Polynesia illuminate the ancient seafaring legacy of Filipino ancestors. 
This newfound knowledge empowers people to embrace their complex heritage with pride and curiosity. Today, many Filipinos are using DNA testing to trace their roots, discovering connections to distant lands and long-lost relatives. This surge of interest in genetic ancestry reflects a broader desire to understand where they come from, not to dilute their identity, but to enrich it. After all, knowing the many threads that make up the Filipino genetic fabric only adds to the beauty of the whole. The Filipino people's story is still unfolding. As scientists continue to study ancient remains, explore new archaeological sites, and refine genetic analysis, even more chapters of this epic tale will come to light. But one thing is certain, the story of the Philippines is one of survival, adaptability, and an unbreakable spirit. In the end, the Philippines is not just a collection of islands, it's a living testament to the resilience of human history. And the genetic code of its people is a map of that history, written across thousands of years and countless migrations. It's a reminder that every Filipino carries within them a piece of the past, a spark of the ancestors who shaped this extraordinary land, and a legacy that will continue to evolve for generations to come.